So when you're doing development and you're buying land to build houses to then sell them or refinance them, probably the most important contact is, is, is a builder's team. So we're just spending the day right now going around different sites, getting to know Nick, who's got a great building team. He's been doing this for 27 years and looking at his projects, seeing the standard of his finished standard, getting to know him as a person. And at the end of the day, we're gonna have a coffee and hopefully we're gonna be talking joint ventures and we'll see what we can pull out of the bag. Hey, how's it going? Right. Good to see you, buddy. Oh, right. gosh, this looks amazing. Hi, yeah? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Are you Nick? No, I'm Ben. Oh, nice Nick. Oh, you're Nick. Hey, you're yeah. Ben. Great I'm stuff. Nice to meet you. It's yeah. beautiful. I like it. It's Another one, right? Test. Yeah, absolutely. So we've just had the air test on this morning. Yeah. It's passed with flying colours. Oh, mate, I like this. Do these doors, are these like folding doors? Oh, Dude, you got it, man. That's how you got to do it. What's the point of having doors that don't open all the way? It's a big party patio. Oh, mate, it's lovely. So, yeah, we, we actually knocked an house down. Horrible house, knocked it down, and built this. We've done everything on this. Right. So, yeah. so how much, um, is it your project then, this? Or it's is my this... project, yeah. yeah. So how much did you, how much did you buy the uh, old? They, they bought the land, it's for a customer. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They bought the land. This is bigger. They bought the, uh, I'm not sure, but we had a few issues bats and stuff and knocking it down but this build is about 285 grand to build this and then and then what how much did they buy the old property for do you remember or not i don't know i don't know and what do you reckon this will be worth once it's done mm, near enough a million really yeah. jeez but talking like that kind of money in doncaster is uh, a it's just a beautiful spot, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. I mean, that, when you go upstairs, and my when it's still upstairs, this is in next, this week. Yeah. Next week, you go upstairs and look out that view. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty disheartening for you going to our little crappy house and working out. <laughs> 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 you know, you know what our portfolio consists of? We uh, love crappy houses. This is nice and sweet, this is nice and Yeah, good. We do, obviously, observe the masses, don't you? Do the opposite, so, our association is what we already work for. They're constantly, literally, what, they're our stock is rubbish. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry 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 i we in three weeks rented out four fifty a month. How much you buy it for? Twenty two and a half. Twenty two and a half. Mm. What in Doncaster? No, that's in that's in Rotherham. Though. Rotherham. In Rotherham. Yeah, we just we just bought. That's just insane. One hundred and thirty two seven fifty. Just on a bridge to let, and literally we just refinanced them now. I think one hundred and ninety two they're coming out. How much you buying for? Sorry. One hundred and thirty two seven fifty to four. And how much you spend on them? We spent twenty five. Yeah, twenty five grand. So you bought them for but one for each. Yeah. We've done a lot of work ourselves. So we're just killing the sender. Yeah, yeah. Until yeah. we get established and yeah, so we can all rents are rolling in. We're all right, aren't we? Yeah, and we've just gone to another another eight. We've got them through. Nice, great. Three hundred and ten. So very very similar ours. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's all good. Busy at the minute, so. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, we've got some interesting. We're building some properties in uh, Lincoln. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Yeah, that's because uh, I'm new, I'm new to the ha whole house building side of things. I don't think, I don't yeah. Dig an old in ground and just watch it grow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's, uh, and smashing down a really ugly house and turning it into a nice new yeah. one, it's, it's satisfying, isn't it? it is. The thing is, because I, I get a bad rep sometimes because people think, are oh, you buying all these houses? You, you, you know, there's only there's only so many houses to go around. Yeah. But when you when yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, we, but but the thing is though, people think you know from 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 a, from a position of you know we've got a shortage of houses, overpopulation of people. If I'm nicking all the houses, it's going to make it difficult for first-time buyers, which I get to some extent. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when you're building houses, no one can no one can moan about that no. because no. then no. you're actually you're actually bringing more bringing more to the market or or restoring houses, taking absolutely run down uh, crap oh, holes. So yeah, you're, you're putting them back into family homes. Aren't like, you? Yeah, have you seen our castle that we're doing? Yeah, seems scaffolding up then. Yeah, yeah, that's going really well. We're spending a couple of million on that. That's but awesome. like restoring, restoring projects, you know, no one can really. No. You can't, you can't, you can't be a bad guy doing that. So how many are in your team then? Your builders and stuff. Uh, between us, this we're, it's 
position and end of your builds, but we are integrating yeah. in three weeks. To, no, end of this month. Oh, cool! Of Congrats. Uh, we're mm. we joining because we've got properties together. So we've just instead of passing word about that, as well, just do it together. Mm. Put systems in place. Yeah. We're hitting it, aren't we? We're, mm. we're quoting for a lot of work, and we're we're getting it. Mm. So it's a good project, isn't it? yeah, I've been doing twenty-seven year building wise. We've been damn proof. Not doing since last school, so. Uh, yeah. So, how many do you have in your team? Uh, there's about 17 with subcontractors. Cool. Uh, yeah. So we cover all trades, everything. So. Okay. Great. Where are the stairs going to go? And and how they're going to look? What's the what what's the, what kind of stairs are they going to be? They're going to be long staircase. Yeah. The glass panels up. Oh, nice. So then you're not. Losing your space. Yeah. If, if you had spindles, you'd like to lose the look. You would. Oh, so it's gonna it's gonna keep that real open, airy sort of feel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Just be careful. The black and the white. It's just. Oh man, yeah. No, it's so nice. I love the black and the white. It's so modern, isn't it? Yeah. We put these tiles in our in our rentals. It's just different ground, yeah. does it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And even the windows, I love the black and the white feel. So in this case then, oh yeah. So in this case then, your customer is building it to live in, is that right? Yes. So he doesn't mind so much about how much you bought it for no, and what no. because he's just living no. in it. If you're living in it, it doesn't matter. No. You spend whatever you want. It's a gorgeous view. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Most of it, really. You have made the most of it because if it wasn't for all the windows and the way you've done it, you, you'd, you'd be missing that. It would be just completely wasted, wouldn't it? If it were me, I'd said to him, thinking about it, you'd have been better having an upstairs, downstairs, so your, your living room upstairs and your, mm. your bedroom downstairs right. and have that view. All the time, yeah, you'd see it more, yeah. I guess it's a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I think the plan, the plan is, we, uh, obviously we've got this house in Doncaster, I don't know what the name is, the Warms, Warmsworth yeah. Road, uh, which would be great to get you to come out and, and have a look at turning it into apartments. But also, you know, we're wanting to buy land and build and things like that. So it would also potentially be worth, maybe we could grab a coffee or something yeah. and, and have a chat about doing some kind of a joint venture or, yeah. you know, if you... Well, I think about like quizzing your brain tonight, we're just literally, we're going to complete on going Doncaster as well at the minute. Cool. So I want like to know figures on what we're going to get on price difference for a rental and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's an intake that we just bought, so... Yeah. When it comes to rent, it's like, we're pretty good, man. Like, we really know, um, really know the stuff, but, we, you know, we, we'll have a chat anyway and see. Will we grab a coffee now? Does it, does it pull up right or do you want to go back? I think probably, we'll probably go to the house first, do you reckon? Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah. And then when we chat, we can also talk about the house and... Yeah. Yeah, may as well. It's only, what, 10 minutes down the road. Well, that, other, that HMO we're doing up oh, yeah. is just down the road. It's like virtually on the same road. Okay. But there's also a church for sale. What's got planning for this? We'll have a look. We're here, man. For six apartments. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a look while we're here. I think it's under 100k. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. So when Nick said, he said, should we go out for a coffee now and have a chat? I really want a coffee right now. I've had a long journey. I need the toilet, I want a drink. But the thing is, I want to speak to him after we've seen all the projects because I think we'll have a much better conversation once we've seen uh, once we've seen the houses. Um, and then but by the time we have a coffee, it'll be time to talk business. My goodness, can you believe that this is Doncaster? Look at this. How beautiful, oh my goodness. This is not Doncaster. Is this Doncaster? Doncaster's a good investment area. Yeah. The great thing about these builders is that they're actually investors as well. So we're just going around one of their HMOs now that they've just bought and they're in the process of doing up. I think it's a 10 bed, he said. How many beds is this? Six. Six, still, still good. So uh, in fact, six, six is the perfect number because when you go more than six, you need planning permission. So six is, a, six is quite a good number for HMOs. So let's have a look around and see what kind of, see what our competitors are doing. <laughs> the new kitchen in. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Fire doors, uh, kisses. Starting from scratch. Oh, that's proofing. Oh. This, is, this is like the HMOs back in the day that my builder used to do. It's a real builder's, builder's HMO, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be amazing, though. This is a communal room. Okay. Uh, like, so the ground level fire outside. Oh, yeah. Is this how low the ceiling will be? Oh, this is it. 
Jeez, it's low, isn't it? It's not if you stand there, because floors are low. Yeah, a bit more It's not as high as the, your, your million pound house ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, my first ever job, I used to do, this was what I used to do. I worked for a company that did double rock. It takes me back a bit. Without an ensuite, I would say you're talking about 75, 80 pound. And then I think with an ensuite, you're probably talking £90 a week. Yeah, yeah. 90 95 that's what Yeah, I'm to a good standard. Yeah. Yeah. £100 a week, maybe if it was like a palace. Interesting, right? Good guys. Yeah. So, so we've seen their house build projects from scratch. We've seen their HMOs. Seem like decent guys. Of course, you don't know at this point, but they seem nice enough. They're doing some joint ventures with people that I know. So, let's go have some lunch. See ya. Uh, I'm going to make them give me a proposal, I think. And I'll, I'll just say, I've got money, I've got experience. I'm not from the area, you're builders, I'm not. Make me a proposal, I'll put the money in. You do the work. What I'm thinking is something like, if we do a, if we do a house build from scratch, say we buy a piece of land, build some houses on it. What I'm thinking is, I'll let them find the land. I'll buy it, they can then do the build at cost and then we'll we'll come up with some kind of a profit share on the on the projects that's sort of what i'm thinking let them project manage it let them find it let them do everything i'll fund it as long as they build for me at cost and they're incentivized to make it really profitable because they've got, they're going to get a percentage of the profits that's what, what i'm thinking but i guess it also depends on what's around here so let's see but you'll get to hear exactly how, exactly what i say and exactly how i because the thing is, you can, you can watch all day long the actual building take place, but if you don't know how to finance it or find that deal in the first place, see, if I wanted to, I've got money, I can put the money in, no problem, but if I've got this contact, if I find the builder and they're finding the projects and doing all the work and I haven't got the money, then I could just go and find an investor and bring the two together and take, take a slice of the pie. There's, there's so much money to be made in this business. You only need a slice of the pie. A slice of many pies, and you, that's, that's when you get rich. Got our, got our skill set, we just leverage someone else's money, basically. Yeah. So obviously we get in at build costs, so we're typically building stuff for general people at a minute, depending on levels of spec, anything from 1,000 to 1,500. That's yeah. where I meet you, you know what I mean? Obviously what you've just been to at KB is a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A bit higher end spec, but obviously more domestic and more start okay. rooms and yeah. stuff is a different price, but yeah. we're able to obviously do a cost in it, because our end game is to do development full time into that. That's what, what we want to do. Yeah. The it's the way itself. forward, isn't it? It yeah. is. There's money there. There's serious There's really amount of money. really good money there. There's serious mm. amount of money. Okay. Well, so. that, that, that sounds, I'm really open to that. Mm. So, well, what, what's the sort of setup with Jonathan that you've got then? Uh, what we tell, well, at minute, we, with Jonathan, is he's putting in the money for the deposits. Because all at minute, all I want a joint, joint, venture, uh, joint venture partner for was literally, if we didn't have the deposits, someone else to go, yeah, let's, let's roll. Because yeah. I was sick of seeing stuff all the time yeah, and not yeah. being able to go yeah, for it. Yeah. And that's just the most annoying thing speed, in the world. It's also, cash makes things happen faster. Yeah, of course it yeah. does, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah. mess around. See, we would probably, um, just, we wouldn't get mortgages and stuff. We'd probably do it all cash. Yeah. yeah. And then, it depends on what the project was. Well, that's it. It yeah. depends, yeah. It depends on what the project was. There's a leverage back to money why it's cheap enough, you know what I mean? It's exactly. not quite out of the stretching, it's an is Well, with it. the land that we're doing, I'll give you a bit of an idea about what we're doing in Lincoln, and yeah. I love this sort of stuff. So the land we bought for, how much was it? 330? Yeah, it was. Okay. Three, 330. So bought the land for 330,000. 330, <laughs> we got planning permission. Mm. We bought it subject, subject to planning. Yeah. We got the planning permission approved for six houses. The houses are going to cost us half a million, and that's including contingency and everything. Yeah. Um, for, for the six houses. What, gonna that's be... your build cost, is it? Or is that all your all? That, no, that's everything. Right, okay. That's yeah. about buying the land and everything. No, no, no. No, Sorry. I'm going to say, yeah. 330 plus 500. Yeah. So 830 altogether. And what square foot are these houses then? Um, ooh. I don't know. It seems cheap, that 500 grand, doesn't it, for mm. six houses? What sort of houses they're, they're, are they? They're, Just they're, semi detached houses. Ter ter all right, ter yeah. Two bed. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two that, bed. Yeah. So there's going to be a block of three and then another block of three. Yeah. And they're quite small houses. Yeah. Two bed little townhouses. Six, yes. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. quite a reasonable. Have you thought about doing timber framed? Yeah, it is. Timber framed? Um, what is timber framed? Timber framed with bricks, skin on the outside. So 
It is brick. It's going to be built with brick. It's bricks on the outside. I'm sure. I think, I think you it said is, it was coming with brick. Yeah, it is yeah. with brick. So you know what? I don't know much about that. It, it's basically what happens is you get it done quicker because yeah, all your is. trades are inside while you're on the outside yeah. doing that. As that, that one's the traditional build with brick, bricks on outside, blocks on its side. Framed. Yeah. So they are better for and, trades. And, and next week, this week, they're putting all the timber frames up. Yeah. And they've said it will take between six and nine months yeah. to have the whole thing completely finished. Yeah. We've had a Rick's valuer uh -huh. say that the end value of all the houses together is going to be 1.35 million. Yes. Uh, uh, a, which means that we've got 500 Mega. grand profit. Mega. Yeah. yeah. For a year's worth of work. Yeah. Happy days. Now, what I've done, right, because I'm not hands on, mm. but I've got money. Is I have got a part of the the part of the building team. We're giving them a profit share, right, yeah. yeah, and we're just saying. And they, but they found the land. Yeah, yeah. They've done everything. Yeah. So I haven't done a thing. All I do is go there once a month from a hard hat and do a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And yeah. that's why I like it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I've said because they found the land. They've done everything. They've sorted the planning. They've sorted mm. absolutely everything. I've said that they, I think I'm going to give them twenty five percent. A of profit. a profit share, so when it's all done, mm. any any profit that we make, they're going to get twenty five percent. Sounds a good so deal. So rather than me making half a million, I might make four hundred grand. Yeah. But 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 yeah, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, hands free. Thing, yeah. Hands free into it. Hands free. Yeah. And that's for me. Time's more valuable than anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So our business is doing really well. Like we made over a million last month. Mm. With right. all our businesses together, our training business, construction business, because mm. we, we we also. Um, we have a letting agency, we have yeah. sort property sourcing business, we have obviously our investments, so we've got a lot of things going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So Fun the last thing works. I want. Oh, it does, man. You I systemize mean, been... it good enough, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem with business, isn't it? You've got to get your systems and procedures yeah. properly. And... Well, the thing is, though, all my businesses are systemized really well. You're all seeing opportunities all day, every day in Doncaster, mm. and you're like, oh man, I wish we could buy this. Yeah. Uh, 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 and you have, uh, no one's got unlimited money to keep buying. I've got nobody on there. No. Everybody runs out of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even like Grant Card and all stuff, they all run out of money. Yeah. Mm. It's like, you're like yeah, it took the battle for it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's right, you know what I mean? Because you always think about the next investment, that next deal, you know what I mean? So, you, yeah. like, refinancing and stuff, things like, there's always been that little period, isn't there? That's what we said, didn't we? got to the point where we're like, We've seen all this cool stuff, we just need to be able to purchase it. So that's, that's why we like that joint venture. A bit of help and. Like, uh, Instead of losing out on deals, get a bit of help. We can still all move forward, can't we? And get yeah. get a, get a what bite did you of cooking. In regards to contracts and stuff, who did you get, or what have you done with, with Jonathan? Because I'm just thinking, if, if if you like, well, Jonathan's pretty simple because obviously he, he, he's probably getting a better end of the deal. So basically, all we've done is set up an SPV. Is okay. We're all like individual shareholders. Directors. They're putting their money, and obviously doing like obviously company, obviously. Uh, Injection inputs. Yeah. We're doing the same on our end, so I'm assuming we'll just divvy it we're up. Doing, we're paying for the reef. We're doing for so the you just set up a company together. Yeah, yeah, basically that's it. Yeah. Right. So. Cool. And how with the shares? Do you know how you how you split it? Or yeah, what? yeah. We've just got 25 percent shares piece. Yes, yeah, four Between partners. Four partners. Right. So. And you two are partners. Yeah, yeah. Us two are partners. We've got 25 percent shares Paul, each. Paul, uh, then you've got share partner. Isn't yeah, Jonathan and Paul Stone. Mm. Okay. So. Yeah, it's working, isn't it? We're finding, we're finding it's, it's, houses. Like I said, we've got quite a few investors now, haven't we? That yeah. to, when, when you know the money's there, it's hard to find the deals. And when you when you haven't got the money yeah. there, you find the deals. It's like, and what do so you want from me? Because something that I could potentially bring to you guys as well, yeah. rather than just m me as a joint venture partner, yeah. would be like other joint venture partners. Mm. Because I've got, yeah. like we run the largest property training company in the UK. Right. Every week we do it. We do it. We do a crash course. Probably yeah. crash course. We get a thousand people. Cool. Like we're mega. <laughs> you, yeah. you know. You yeah. know this. Yeah. Like on, on the training side, we, we, we've got a very very large following and stuff. So potentially, we could put you in front of other people if what we be works. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's hard because the thing is, I want me personally. I'm not an introvert, but I, I, I'm still very like. I have to qualify people, you know what I mean? I have to trust people and stuff. Yeah. I'm not, I won't just go, yeah, I'll do something with you, let's do it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd mm -hmm. have to be a few times meeting, and, and that's we'll how I am. Out, I mean, we? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. a lot of people have approached us since we opened as mine up to, to joint yeah. venture partners. 
and because we know yeah. we, we want to get to a thousand units so we we're literally we're thinking we, we need to take other people on a giant to get there we're quicker, get, though. yeah we're not going to get there if not the thing is even if they're putting the money in if they're a dick Hmm. Then they can put the money in, but then they're breathing on your neck every two days. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't know, want it. Unrealistic yeah. expectations. Yeah. yeah. You don't forget it. I'll get the money from my bank. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, what sort of projects then would you would you, would you do you reckon would you can you see working well in Doncaster and what sort of figures? Like the thing that we're doing in in, in Lincoln. Do you mm -hmm. think that could work in Doncaster? Yeah. Yeah. There's, we've, we've, Pricing up a few houses, aren't we, in Doncaster? Well, you, you built a few. You built one of your own in Doncaster. I, I, built, well, I built four in Doncaster, mm. yeah. Uh, built a few. Built quite a lot of houses, mm. really. But yeah. I, See, Nick knows Doncaster more than me. I, I'm yeah. more Sheffield and Barnsley and Rotherham. I know all of them. Because I, I don't care too much about where the area is. Yeah. If it was Sheffield or yeah. Barnsley, like, it doesn't really make any odds for me. For me, it's all about the figures. Yeah, well, that's it. The figures don't matter. We know some so. cracking plots for sale, isn't we, around here? It's land for sale, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, land for sale. Okay. But it's not on market. It's not on market. How much is land for sale? I think he said two fifty. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'd have to find out again. And it's got planning for four houses. Yeah. You know, what sort of stuff are you normally finding? Which, which you find that you love? But yeah, housing association. I love because yeah. I love them fifteen percent yields. I know you are. ROI man, but I love them 15 seconds. We years. like them because we, you seem to buy a portfolio off them as well, aren't yeah, we? That's yeah. what we're doing. Well, so you like buying, give me, give me an example, then give me a case study. Yeah, so basically, well, last four we've just done, uh, 132,750. We bought four for 132,750. We spent 25 grand on them. Yeah. Uh, we're getting what rent now? We about 22 gross on, on rent. What about how much, sorry? 132,750. For one of the houses? No, four. Four. For and the four. four. For the four. four. And what we've had to do is because obviously spanning a lender under, if you get some photos. Un, under 50 yeah. under 50k it's hard isn't it you know yeah. what i mean oh, you're paying stupid money uh what they've done is we've done it with through showbrook and they've done a bridge to let okay so literally they've grouped them together which is quite handy yeah. for us so we've been able to leverage their money and, and be able are to they, are that what you were telling me about earlier the ones but because i guess that 137 divided by four what's that like it's like, 30 grand? It's like these are the houses we're finding look at that one Wow. Well, that was not even that bad of an area. I know, I'm no, surprised no, actually. No. I mean, it's not a good area. No, no, no. But it's You're not, not living there yourself, are you? That's the problem. These are, are these the, the, no. That one's not on auction. This one's literally on right move. That's, yeah, that's yeah. on right move, that one. Oh, that's a goal sort of that. Isn't yeah, that's goal sort. Yeah, we just bought one at goal sort and all that one. Yeah. And they're just like disgusting on the inside. Yeah, well. Well, that one at Golf thought we just got is actually nice inside. It's, it's, it's a rewire, a new kitchen, but it's like a bit very much like that when you have just got that bathroom. Yeah. It's like that. It's like, yeah, fine. Like, I'm just going to work with that. You know? You're buying properties for like 25 grand and then spending what, like 15 on them? No. 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 Spent 25 grand on all four. On all four. Because we've been doing it at the cost of Sens working at that. That one we paid. Even know we are so that stuff excite you more? <laughs> does, does that stuff excite you more than. But, no, but no. Buying a piece of land. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. But this you is. This, I had to yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. You seem pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it but is exciting. You're building units. You're paid. You're building well. You so you've got to be excited about everything you do. Yeah. That because it's soured. It's, it's so hold on, hold on, hold on. You're buying it for like twenty-five grand. Then you're spending what, like six, seven grand, then doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> it's just wow. insane. And then it's 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 worth. What's the value then on it? On a single unit, about forty k. Sometimes yeah. 50. So they want it into it, we've just But bought. then, do you refinance it then? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you pull back your money out? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're just doing now. The value yeah. has come last week. So said, on them four, we'll have 20 grand in deal. Paid 30 for that one. So this we've got all this money back out while we're paying for this deposit. That's and a, literally uh, with. Uh, that, that, that's a three better that one. Do you know one. why you're winning at this game? I know why you're winning. You're winning because you're builders and you can build it really cheap. Because yeah. most people, if they bought that for 25 grand, they'd get a builder and the builder would be like, oh, 20 grand yeah. refurb. But, but then it wouldn't value, it wouldn't. If you bought that for 25 and you spent 20, 20 on it. This is the beauty. This, is, like, this is why I don't like to tell you too much because. <laughs> because. <laughs> This is off an housing association. Yeah. They're all pretty good nick, so the roofs are okay, the windows are okay, yeah. the electrics are okay. They've all got decent batches in all Worcester Boss. boilers. So it's the light I'm telling you this too much, because you're, you're already on our patch, so. <laughs> no, but, but. If you find them, we can source them out on them also, so. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is, what you're, them quicker. Like, what you're saying is, because it's a housing association, 
the tenants have made it look really ugly on the inside, but actually, yeah, it's really. cosmetic. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Let me find you some of the pictures when we've had them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think one of the houses, we actually spent about 15k on just one. So you can imagine we did the other three for like wow. 15. So that's basically just, we stick a, a magnet kitchen in like that. Metro tiles, tidying up, new kitchens, new bathrooms. Howland's kitchen, two, two and a half grand. No, less. Uh, we, we paid from, we used ma quid for that one. We paid magnet for magnet. Oh, magnet. Oh, mate. They're cheap. That one, yeah, magnet, posh. yeah. I bit of posh, that one. What we tend to do is, in other rental number four, we used to buy Howland's contract kitchens. So you can yeah. buy 16 units, and because we've got a big commercial unit down near uh, Meadow Hall, we'd store it. Mm. So we, then we make a kitchen out of it all. Do you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. So rather than yeah. getting a designer in and paying for all that designer's yeah, experience, for we can just How let you go and buy it. Around, though, is there like a shortage of this? If you had the money, could you just buy like dozens and dozens of yeah. these? No, 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 because we to be fair, no, we, it's only why I said about them because literally the house association's now not going to do any, any off market deals on these. No. So right. I saw suits through another guy. Uh, but that, yeah. That's his Lindley one, what we paid 22 and a half. And that's what we've spent two and a half grand on it, and yeah. 500 were selected. Two and a half thousand pounds. And 500 pounds of that was for selective license. For? That was 22 and a half, that. 22 and a half, and you spent two and a half grand on it? Oh. And so five, you... 500 was selective license included, and that was rented out in three weeks. Was so we're buying it. How much was it rented out for? 450. 450 we got for that. And how much is it worth once you've done the work? Uh, Probably about 40, 45, they yeah. go on that street. They win an auction at minute about 30, between 35 and 40. Uh, mate, congrats, man. You guys are doing really well. You found your, you found your niche and you killed it. So let, let, let's do like a, a fictitious case study then, if we were to do a deal. So let's say you found a deal. I mean, do you, do you want, do, are you more interested in the bigger stuff, like the land stuff, or, or are you interested in doing jobs with those little ones? We, 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 we do whatever. <laughs> to us, it's just a refurb or it's a new build. Or it's a flip, whatever. We we're, we're interested in whatever. Yeah. And idea we I said we've got as obviously we're gonna we we are combining together to to go big. Yeah. So literally we're also doing that with property now. So yeah, we. What was the last deal in the last month that you saw that you were like, oh that's amazing, but you couldn't you couldn't do anything. Well, at minute we're good. That's what I'm saying. Oh, found, you might have. I sat, found that house. We've got money uh, sat there and now we investors. <laughs> we can't really find much for. I found that house at Shire Oaks. It sold for seventy five grand, but it turned into two flats. And Shire Oaks is a really nice, desirable area. Yeah. 75 grand, that's up for. Right. I put it on WhatsApp. <coughs> so 75 grand house, and then how much refill does it need? <sighs> Turn it into two flats. Okay. The big, the big. it's hard to say, but the, the terrace houses over the road are fetching 120. Yeah. So that's up to 75. We've just had a new roof on that, I find that bizarre. Yeah. But I'll get them details for that, would be and a really with, nice. With Jonathan then, if, you, if you're going 50-50, presumably the cost, the work that you're doing, you're doing that at cost then, right? Yeah, yeah we're doing it at cost. Yeah. Well, it's, our, it. it's our project, isn't it? So. Yeah. 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 Well, we the can't, save the better. You can't win a project and start charging top end money if, as equal partners, can you? You've got to have a bit of leeway. Yeah, because that's leeway. what you're bringing to the table, isn't it? You're yeah. bringing to the table the... The fact that you're doing the work at cost, and we're sourcing them as well, aren't we? Yeah. So, yeah. so then he's financing the the work at cost hmm. of the of the refurb. Just, and just, now, just now, just no, the he's just putting deposits in. We're financing the cost. Win. <laughs> oh, you're so you're doing it. Oh, okay. So you're financing the. The, the, we're the doing refurbs, we're yeah. doing the refurbs itself at uh, uh, cost to so us. Say we bought a property for for for, for 150 grand. Yeah. And then the cost of the refurb that cost was 50 grand. Yeah. Let's just say you he would buy the put 150 grand down mm, or, yeah. or put yeah, the deposit yeah. and get the mortgage. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you would then put 50 grand down. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go 50 50 on the profits. Yeah. Yeah. But because you you're such you're so good at doing it cheap. <laughs> That's good. Sometimes you can put down very little money. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Mm. And then from 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 Jonathan on, from my point of view, you're not thinking, oh, you know, they, are they actually charging for the work because you're mm. paying for it anyway? Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay. Yeah. If we did a new build project, though, how would that work? Because the cost for that would be quite big, wouldn't it? Yeah. The thing is, it's, it's yeah. Well, you get it's very similar. You obviously, get your QS, don't you, to do a price price it up, yeah. and then you can work back from it just your labour costs. Do it that way, can't you? It's right. it's you like say yours. You'd get QS to price the build up to how much it's going to cost. Yeah. And then we'd we'd look at it and say, right, well we can do it. Say it was two hundred grand to build them mm. on QS's thing. We'd look and say, well we can make that work at one hundred and twenty grand. 
that's it, do it that way. So that's you're not only saving up bills, that's what makes us more valuable, so obviously your GDV is still the same, isn't it? You just, your bill yeah. costs a lot less. There's just a lot more meat on the bone, you know thinking, what I mean, to split. Let's just say that you found something in Doncaster or Rotherham or Sheffield mm. that was the same as my Lincoln deal. Yeah. So you saw Peter Land and you knew you could buy it for 3.30. Yeah. You could build six houses on it yeah. and then you knew that the end value was 1.35 million. Yeah. How would you put that forward to me as a, as a joint venture? That minute is is not something we've ever done, so you know what yeah, I mean? We're we not into like sugarcoat things. So no, that would be. Well, the thing is, that's what I'm saying. We, we, this is a new thing for us with joint ventures. Yeah. So we've never done it. So it's like we don't you know what's the right way or wrong and way. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and that's the thing yeah. is, but probably that's why we probably give uh, them a really good deal because it's like we still believe we're still like we, we have to participate with not only well, just I think as knowledge and, and, and I, skills I, I, think, I think we're pretty much on the same page mm. for like what's fair yeah yeah gotcha you know it's kind of obvious what's fair isn't it if one yeah. person's putting in all of the money all, all, all the money for the purchase price yeah. and then one person's finding it and is doing all the work yeah 50 50 fortune, on the, 50, yeah. exactly 50 50 on the profits is pretty fair yeah gotcha yeah. definitely um, so what my suggestion would be is probably that you guys Send something that you think's really good to me. Well, there's a, there's a particular plot at minute. What I we've we've had. Uh, let me just find this. Bowling could, green. Yeah, I could negotiate this deal, but it mean buying it. But I ain't got development yet. I ain't, I ain't actually yeah. got it. But I don't think you'd struggle. GDV on that, I'd probably be about. Let's have a look. What do we say it were that? Were well, that for 14 units or 16? It were 12 at the end. 12. To be comfortable. Yeah. 12, that, like 12 apartments. 12 yeah, hours. It worked out about 2.2. Yeah, 12 hours. It's like an estate then. Yeah, it? so it's like literally mm. uh, semis. So, you know, the townhouses are literally. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got one at minute and Nick's got one, so we know layout as well. It works really well. It's like, it's really good for like people moving up to a bigger home and people also downsizing. So, I quite like that formula as in literally the, the build itself. Yeah, it yeah. works really well. Uh, Okay. I'll just I'll try and find it. I can find it on this. Do, do you normally, it. if you're buying that sort of stuff, would you yeah. normally want to buy it with planning, or would you want to get planning after? Personally, we us, it's it's. I'd like to buy it with planning because it's it's. It, I'm very risk adverse, as you're probably already yeah. already summing up. I don't like to take too many risks, yeah. especially with. For me, new build, it's like we had another crash tomorrow and we've already like, we've got four up to DPC. What, what are your thoughts? We're in too much and we've got development finance already and there's a, a massive it. payment to reach. It puts right. me out. That's me, I like to protect my mind. I don't like to put my family's Basically, it's at uh, risk at any time. No, the local no. bowling green waste land at the back and uh, there's, there's two parties on it. Parish council own the, the, the land at the back and what they call him? Um, mechanic, my friend John. John John owns half of the land, so we said we've been approached them both. Yeah. We've been to Parish Council and said, look, the Bowling Green, we can put you a bit of a car park on, and it takes all traffic off that road, which they're getting a lot of complaints about, so it helps council with planning. If you're mm -hmm. removing that. Which is that. Sill Tax also, we'd probably try and sway with that as well. Where's this one? That's uh, in Sheffield, that, yeah. Sheffield. 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 On, on board of Sheffield and Rotherham. It's very close to my house, that, so okay. I, know, I know it very well. And how much is the land going for? It's not up for a land. What I'm going to do it's is negotiate sale. a deal uh, yeah. where it's literally we give like so much of the profits to Profit the council share, and so much to, to the guy. But I think if we were to go in and say, right, I tell you what, I'll give you this much of the land. Going on your expertise, if you could think, say, yeah, well, you know what, it's a nice site. I, I, we know the site would work. We've already spoke to council as well. They, they probably said they couldn't see a problem on there, yeah. but because we've never, and it's not my money, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. To start off with, it's it's something we've never like pushed forward, and that's yeah, what we yeah. do. We find all this cool stuff, but then it's like you're limited again. And you're like, we, yeah, we are limited. If it were, if, if, yeah, if it, if it were our business and it were well, say our, our money, we'd have already said, all right, I tell you what, we'll give you 150 grand between you for land, yeah. and they'd be like, actually, now just snatch your hand off, mm -hmm. and that makes them them. Uh, Plots then really, really healthy. So the actual end value on each one of the miles is you're probably looking at about 190 grand each unit. And there's, there's no planning at the moment. No, no. planning whatsoever. If we got planning, we make a lot more money, right? Yeah, mega. Yeah. And we probably would get planning. Yeah. Can you yeah. not speak to the councillor and they get a bit of a feeder? Yeah, yeah. I've spoken to them. I've spoken to them. Yeah. They said, you probably they said yeah. You said you're probably all right because 
what it's doing then it's releasing the amount of traffic for the bowling green on the so we could just yeah. buy that for like 150 grand I, I, and then see what happens and I, if we can't I, I get planning then we just sell the land I, I think if it could be cheeky or even like a, a couple hundred grand or whatever and i don't know it could be even like the then if you like say you get permitted development or something uh, or like yeah. to, you could yeah could do. Yeah, that I, could, that it's, be really it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice piece of land as it well. It is a good it? plot. It is a good plot. So uh, that we, could we be took really... that as far as we got, didn't we? And we're like, how, how much do you reckon you'd be able to build yeah, each house for? What did we work that out? We did it on I think a GDV. About 90, about 90, no, it's a bit more in there, aren't they? A bit bigger. About 100 and, about 110, I think, square 110, meters. Yes. Yeah, so, then you, you know, reckon they'll be about 190 each. Yeah, 190 yeah. each. And there's, You're uh, probably looking about 80 grand a year, wouldn't it? So that really interests me. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yeah, we've got, we've got loads of stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, that really interests me. See, because we've got the architect, he, we saw him and just says, right, this is your land. He went on Google Earth, did all these things, and then says, yeah, I can get you 12 on there. So that's when we went and approached council, says, mm. can we try and sort some art to put 12 houses on? Mm. What do you want to give us your land? Mm. And just said, well, we're... They're not, they're, they're they said do they're a not, bit greedy, they're, 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 yeah. because, because it's two different parties. So, because one of them's my like mechanic friend, and 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 then there's the council. But I think my mechanic friend's been a bit greedy in what he thinks is what the profit share. I think he really thinks the land's worth millions. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, at first of all, engaging conversation. Well, your GDV could be this, and obviously, I think he thought that's going to be all this. So yeah. I think he's got a bit greedy on thinking. But who's, if we the, were, who's this person? This is this is a, the my friend who's a he's mechanic. He's a mechanic. Uh, who's a potential joint venture partner? Yeah, he could be. But yeah. what I'd probably want to do is go around with that because of how we reacted in our meeting we had. I'd much much rather go. Do you know what? This is how much we're offering on table. Take land, your money. This will be for your land, and I think he'd be like, yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. We don't so, want him as a partner. Does he own the land then? This he owns part of it. He owns part on it, and Paris Council owns the other half. Okay. And we've had discussions so still a bit of like, yeah. I like that though. When there's problems, it's better because when you solve the problems, you get more money. Exactly. <laughs> I'm good at problem solving. Yeah. You don't have problems, you have solutions. That's yeah. it. That's it though. Because yeah. yeah. if you buy something that's already got planning permission, it's really neat, nice and tidy, then yeah. you're going to make money, but you're not going to make as much yeah, money. Yeah, well, that's it. Someone's already thought it, haven't yeah. they? They know what the, the actual land value is worth. See, I like that, that kind of thing a lot. Yeah. And also, if, you, if your land's been, if, if your land's contaminated with depending on what's been on, you yeah. can get 110% back at cost to clean it up. That's something, you should know about that, don't you? Howard? You know? Yeah. Nick, yeah. yeah. no, Nick, do your uh, land development <laughs> training course. Yeah. yeah. No, that's right. If your land's contaminated yeah. and it costs 100 grand, you'll get 110 grand back. Yeah, cleaning you, it you up. You can actually, it's the same with knotweed and stuff I'm like that. I've not dealt with, I've not dealt with, I've not. Yeah, well, I think oh, yeah. Russell's um, sorted that side on okay. Riversford. Yeah, oh, is, that, is that your brother? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely heard talks of something Yeah, like with that, knotweed, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I've never dealt with contaminated. Well, at minute, I've got uh, a lot of knotweed up back of our commercial, so literally I'm just swapping banks at minute to, to, to get rid of our HMO out of the deal, so to get that one encumbered. So as soon as I do that, I'm going to make a claim off at uh, yeah, railway yeah, itself. What do you guys think? Um, the implications of Brexit might be. I won't worry too much about it. If it ever happens, it's going to be 15, 18 months anyway, isn't it? So just me, to... me personally, uh, it could be good. It's good in one aspect for an investor because you can go and buy loads of cheap houses and drop. But as in like development, that's what I, I don't like on sensor, especially doing new developments because you'd never know. I mean, it, last thing you want to be doing, especially if you're using your own money, is be. I don't know, a million, two million pounds into a development, and then you mean you see a 30% crash, you're like. It's like, oh, we're going to go, we're going to dip a bit whenever we come out on it, and then it's just going to go back up again. It's a, yeah, right, eventually, it'll always go up, won't it? We haven't had a recession for, any, for ages, so they're going to blame they're going to blame next recession on Brexit anyway. Yeah, of course they will. Yeah. So. Of course. They'll blame I don't think they even know, does it? Yeah. I don't think they even know, do they? It's had one for 12, 12 years, have we? 12, 13 years. <laughs> yeah. What's your views on uh, Brexit? Uh, I think that it depends if we get a deal or not. Yeah. Um, what do you think we'll get a deal or not? I think we'll walk away with no deal. Uh, me too, that's exactly what I think. Yeah, and I think that prices will drop quite a bit. Yeah, me but too. I don't think they will so much up north. No, well, this, this is another thing about we the thing about up north. Properties are pretty much bottomed out. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know Sheffield's beginning to rise a bit now. Yeah. But like... Well, London's already dropped already, haven't they? You know what I mean? I, I think uh, places like Birmingham are yeah. going to get hit, I, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, big cities. Um, so it's something that I, I'd watch. It will roll out, though, won't it? To a, to a certain degree, I'm, but... I'm not worried, right? Yeah. It'll balance its send back out. I'm only worried... Not worried, but if I'm doing, if we're doing like developments and yeah. you're relying on being able to sell properties and end values and stuff like that, I just think you just something we just need to be aware of. Yeah, gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think I think then the conclusion, kind of moving forward, would be if you put some, get some properties, mm-hmm. and then let me know what you want. That you think, oh, this could be a good one. What do you reckon? And then I'll probably get, give a proposal mm-hmm. from a finance. Well, point yeah. Of view. Likewise, if you see anything like round within like. For instance, thirty minutes or whatever to this yeah. to this area. We'll have whether a pop it, out like, so we're based down near down near Middle Wall, so literally yeah. anywhere there, like a finished conversion you see, anything cool like that, you know what I mean? Come and see us and we'll have another chat and yeah. we're sure we can do no. something together. So, so we're in Doncaster today, obviously Samuel and Amanda come really good on picture and on, on video, but actually in real life they're tremendous people. Uh, really aspire to be like them and what they're doing with property at minute is brilliant. So yeah, it's nice to be working with other passionate people in property. Can't wait to see what the next move is for us all, and the good. Yeah, we're great showing them around some projects we've got on go at the moment. We've shown them around a new build site, uh, talked about their projects. Uh, we're great talking about that. Took them to an HMO we're working on as well, asked a bit of advice on things. And yeah, they're down to earth people, great. Yeah, we'd love to work with Samuel on some projects. Hopefully we've got a few in the pipeline. Thank yeah. you. We'll speak real soon. Thank you. Lo- lovely to meet you. Yeah, Thanks nice so much, you. Ben. You're Thank awesome, you, <laughs> Thanks so much. Great, seem like really nice guys. Definitely very knowledgeable about the area and been in the trade a very long time. So I've told them to just send me some proposals across, i.e. some projects, and then I'll put together a joint venture proposal and let's see what happens. So that's like the very first step. Because sometimes it's easy, you know, you see me guys doing big projects and development stuff, but this is how it gets started. This is all the foundational work. You need, when you build a house, you need foundation, but when you set up a deal, you need foundation of a deal. And this is all the stuff that people don't usually see. So I hope you found it helpful. Comment below, let us know your thoughts, let me know what you learned, and uh, I'll see you next time.